Hey there. I um I got the software set up. Got all the screen capture. I think everything's working on it. Um I don't know if I'm confident enough to walk you through the comic yet. Um it's 16 pages long. I want to save actual panels. But um Oh, the back end's so sketched. It, there's no like line art or anything of it. Let we'll we'll wait on that. But um I was gonna let today not be so raw. I was maybe gonna kind of let us have the ball start somewhere, and um, it's kind of where we're at right now. Page one, um, yeah, just mixing things together. Um, I'd walk you through the panels here at least. So let's throw away panel three, panel four. Uh, I did a crop there, so we'll just go up here. Hopefully, yep. Okay. So let's just kind of strip away the layers. Um, I love including the fetal moon, or the not fetal moon, sorry, um, false moon. That's what it's called. It's just a, I'm not gonna tell you, that's a secret for later. Um, yeah, um, the ships and everything, we'll strip it from the back end. All right, so we have the ships here. Um, I can't remember. What the actual original was. Hang on, I'm sorry. Let's take a second to just see what the sketch itself looks like. Just to sketch the ship and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I think I forgot about that. Nah, we don't need that. Um, yeah, so here's the original sketch. Um, hmm. Well, somewhere it's some it, there's a better sketch somewhere in there but uh, i made it better between now and then um but yeah i um when i came to the ships i was trying to just kind of like study like you know like a helmet i want to say i stole from um metroid um samus's helmet for this one here and then i really wanted to just the uh, giant gun literally it's just a shotgun size ship um or a ship size shotgun i should probably say and also like wind turbines i guess is what they're um engine jet engine uh turbine engine um i love that i think i'd watched um <laughs> i think i watched um adventures that the same day i drew this and I think that's where the Wipeout comes in. Wipeout's a um a racing game from '64 era. Uh, they brought out um a sequel for the PSVR. I got, I grabbed that one. That's a good one. I'd grab that if you have the opportunity. I don't know if they have it on PC, but if they do, and you have a an Oculus or something like that, grab that. It's really good. Um. Then we just play around with lighting. Lighting here was kind of interesting. I really wanted the scope of um, just how much smaller Gabe is um, compared to like the force of Kelvin. You'll go into this and like you'll see like all the characters and everything like that. So you got you got um you got Bouncer here or um, Big Daddy here from Five Shot. Stole that from this little model here. Five Shucks a good game. I, I, it's one of my top five, top ten. And then I got the little um Dead Space guy here, if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and then just some other ones. I think I just kind of threw in. I pull a lot from um, uh, Lorenzo. He does this um series of um tutorials called How to Think When You Draw. And it's super helpful. I think I probably didn't implement it that well into this, but I mean, we're miles away. You know, if you're just looking at the whole panel, you can barely notice, but you can kind of tell what's going on here. Um, when it comes to the actual um, design of the world itself, I use um, the uh, um, paintbrush called Fray Paintbrush and one called Rocky. Um, and I think together those kind of like just make it everything scratchy and stuff like that. You'll you'll be able to see like that sort of like like scratchy padding there. You see on that texturing that I do. And then I use a lot of it for um uh like trees and stuff like that. That's a little messy there, but I don't know much. Um yeah, yeah. So um I don't know, I love the 
you know, the clip of the actual shells in there. That was probably a little too far with the mechanic. And then I got the, um, the laser sights. But yeah, and um, yeah, I think that's all for that one. I can't think of anything. Oh, we actually had it flip the other way. In fact, oh, that was actually what it was supposed to look like. Um, but um, I wanted, you know, I could have done it where, like, you know, Gabe is heading out to the right, you know. He's headed out in this direction. This is what's stopping him. I don't know. I just love the idea of just, you know, the eye leads a little bit better this way. Um, it's like you read, you see the big ship, and the ship literally is pointing to Gabe. I think that's actually what I was pointing for. Yeah, yeah, So if I had the text there, eh, I mean, you can kind of, but I don't know. I felt like this was such a bigger impact there. We'll stack on this guy here. This guy's Reeves. Um, I was talking to you about him earlier, I want to say. Um, this guy's Reeves here, and this guy is uh, Dexter. Um, so, bigger story here. Uh, Money Grub. It's a set of three things. Um, masculinity, um, morality, and money. And Reeves is essentially um, Kane. Um, it was like, um, like how, um, the way I perceive Bre uh, Breaking Bad, the show, if you've never watched it, super, super good. Where are we at? Six minutes in. Um, every, every antagonistic character is, I think, meant to kind of simple, like, be an extension of what Walter could be. It was like the extreme. And this is, it takes it from that same kind of, um, same kind of theme where, um, Kane's whole motivation in, in life is to make enough money and essentially like provide like this nitro like source of income for himself that he can just kind of finally settle down, get a family, and just like mm, and just finally just like stop worrying about money. Because that's where the big um I guess conflict, the biggest antagonist in the world of money grub, the world of, you know, your shock is just that money is the biggest antagonist. It's a it's a bad thing. Um, and Reeves here, he doesn't have a, a want for family, he doesn't want anything, he's not purchasing anything but the life he's currently living. And that really just surges his lack of morality, his just, just pure masculinity. In fact, this is, I think, in the eyes of Cain, I think Reeves is probably the biggest, biggest man in the pile. And, um... Yeah, and that's just, he just surrounds himself with just evil people who, you know, chase down every possible source of income, morality thrown completely to the wind. And so, yeah, Reeves is, like, probably my worst character, most evil character, like, just, uh, I'd love for you to see more of him. And, um, yeah, so Reeves is the big, big anta antagonist of this one. In fact, I think it's probably the... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, so um, bust into panel two. So um, breaking down all of this guys here. Um, I'll probably try to strip away. There you go. That might make things. Yeah, it's not as clean, but yeah. Um, I've been getting into new grounds again, and um, if you've never um been on that site, it's super good. It it got popular in the early two thousands, but. Um, there was a series on there called um, Madness Combat. It's just typical. Like it, it's probably, probably the um, the inspiration behind John Wick. If the, I, I would say so. I mean, it's it's basically just two D John Wick essentially, and it's super super gory and everything like that. But I just wanted to throw those guys in because they kind of meld with the um, the whole like just violent you know theme of uh, money grub that I was going for. For these three guys, um, I've drawn a lot from Gundam uh, for like a lot of the um, armors in the crowd here, um, and I really like just you know shaded eyes and then just that that sinister look for it. I don't know, it's just kind of going for like a meld of everything. Uh, the gun here is actually based off of um, the uh, gravity gun from Half Life. I got a model of. Um, Gordon Freeman somewhere. If you don't know anything about, just check it out. You got YouTube, check it out. But yeah, that's the gravity gun I was yanking from. Um, I think that might be a Gundam chess piece there. I can't remember from which one though. But that's definitely a a fusion between um 
a Gundam and the new model I just bought. Toy I just bought. I just got the um the Doom um classic Doom suit guy. Um they got him in uh Doom Eternal. That's probably that's the probably the best shooter I've ever played. I still play it today. In fact, uh, during the pandemic 2020 that I played that game probably like through eight times in a row. Awesome. I'm getting sidetracked here. But yeah, a lot of that design, Gundam, this guy here, going into the designs of the enemies in this one. Um, I'm playing a lot of Fallout, and I'm pulling from uh, the power armor from that game. Um, another good game you should try out. God, I'm, I'm just... The layers and layers of inspiration behind my stuff is immense. Um, I really like... Um, there's a gun in Fallout. It's called, I think it's just called a plasma, plasma rifle. Um, I guess so, but it's like this, it's like literally like a, um, a, a rectangle, just a rectangle barrel, and it's super, I don't know, it looks iconic, and it looks like it's just a good chunk of weapon to shoot, so yeah, I like, I like big meaty guns, um, so there's that, there's that, and the work in progress panels here, um, let's see if we can, Pull away some of these layers so you can see a little bit better. Um, background hasn't been worked on very much. I got this one. These, this one here in the back, very back, is probably going to stay there. I'm going to have a reaction um, panel to the background where the characters were like staring down Gabe or actually like, you know, like, hey, what the heck, man? As, you know, pretty much Cape gets left off the hook, let off the hook, um, you know, by Reeves and stuff. Um, and, yeah, uh, pulling a lot from, uh, hopefully these are nuts, uh, that's another dead space, uh, definitely the helmet there, um, yeah, it's probably a half-life mask there, I think, I just love pushing, just small things here or there that I can just add in, that's what I do, um, can't think of anything else here that might be part of the pile, but yeah, I think that's everything, um, dang, we're already... 12 minutes in i think that'll have to do it for um for this this one but um yeah capture everything's ready hope everything uploads pretty well but um we'll outlay this so we actually can talk a little bit more yeah it's good um actually hang on wait is that where the scraps are oh that old scraps holy goodness i didn't even know these were back here wow yeah, um, so this is when uh, Fetal War Tour was really just being thrown against the wall to see if anything was sticking. This um, this first panel here is actually from um, Year of Disgust, the second second comic. And instead of Gay meeting um, Max, he was actually going to meet Kane first. And uh, this is when I had um, Kelvin take place, just for the heck of it, on like a... Um, a cargo ship i still really like that idea actually they might come back to it at some point but yeah you can still see the same like you know here's reeves here's dexter that um that pop up later yeah it's just like <laughs> i hate it because I, I really like this like <laughs> you got ganon you have um you have eustace from Curse <laughs> the cowardly dog and then um just some <laughs> throw-ins <laughs> uh dang it um, but yeah, you can totally tell, like, these are, like, let's show it to you if you haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> literally, um, let's see if it's going on. Um, it's literally, let's see if I can show it to you a little bit better. But it's, yeah, it's literally, like, one for one. Um, and that's where the, um, that's where we replace that. Gosh. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, if you bought the comic, um, you'll see this like border around the, the comic. I um I started that trend whenever I made the first one because I felt like having a border was just a good idea. I even had a title and name on it. It got cropped off and it looks bad now. Um, I got it fixed up, so I got the rem the remaster of um the first comic book out and it's stripped that all away and everything. Um, I think for the third comic, I'm leaving enough space 
where there's just like just a shade a little bit more detail here or there where it's like you know just just because this is where it would be that's where the border would be and it's fine sure but like just having just a little bit less a little bit less so you can just yeah there you go it just it makes it more complete it makes it more professional looking all these different things another little tip i picked up i think that's everything i want to show off today but um yeah good to see you take care out there thanks for tuning in pal